Oh my god, look at those. What are those? Check this out. So, we have this. Looks like it's a little exposure box. Let's switch on there. Instruction book for superior printing presses and undeveloped exposed film. So amazing. Oh my god. I don't know if it's really worth like much photographically, but let's see if I can get that out. Superior printing presses. Printing presses will bring profit. Looks like a little pamphlet. That's interesting. Oh, it's so hot and humid down here. Looks like that is the backing for photographs. Oh no, that's how that goes on there. That's interesting. I feel like I'm going to fall over because this um, <laughs> star thing slanted. Oh, man. Looks like that's best is cabling. Not so bad. Oh, oh, oh. Wipe open there. Okay, well, I'll set that aside for later. Waltham Premier Laureate. Oh. Oh. Pargel par uh, parcel labels. And we have all these chemicals down here, so I don't really want to touch too many of them, but we also have all these glass plates. The wash thing. Oh, and the other part's over there. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. 35 millimeter. Looks like it's all destroyed. No! It's a negative! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! This is amazing. So we don't have to develop it. Okay, okay. This is getting so cool. It's weird. Pond S. Something's still in there. Same with that. These might be the chemicals. Another thing of chemicals. Uh, development tray. Another thing of uh, for that. And then there's just this big chest of flasks and stuff that's right here. So yeah, let's, let's, let's get some of the stuff out already. 
Okay, so um, yeah, let's get this chest out of here. Oh my god. Looks like it's all messed up though, so that's a shame. Okay, um. Nothing in there. Looks like there were some chemicals in there that. Oh, 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 no. I am wrong. I am wrong. Oh, it's something in there muttering on that but I can't read it. If you guys can figure out what that is, let me know. I think that might be like some paper. Oh might be some paper or something. Sorry, I'm starting to get a little nervous down here. Just really hot. Really hot. Little vials of chemicals. Ugh. I don't want to know what that is. It um. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what that is. It's like a clay almost. I think it's safe to say it probably should not be a clay. Okay, that's yeah, you know, that's probably good enough. Unless these last. No, there's nothing underneath there. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just oh, this is hard. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I got this in out of that chest. It's a little little file, a little, little flask. I might come back and get that sometime. Oh, worst camera work ever on my channel. And that's saying a lot. Oh, well, that's pretty much it. The owner has to go home, so I'm gonna leave. All right, it's been like, five or six months since I got this and I just need to finish this video because it's taking up like 20 gigabytes of space on my computer. Let's see we got the uh, exposed to uh, films which I remember I looked it up and well this one I'm honestly not sure what to do with this. It's a Veracrome Kodak. I believe that is a type of film which was used in um, brownie cameras. Perhaps I should take it to that uh, that old dark room or whatever that thing is called. Oh, oh, oh. 127 film. Oh yeah, I think that is the type of film. I would assume that this stuff is the same type but very far gone very very far gone I mean the spool itself is gone for those who have experience with this I mean I think it's safe to say this is too far gone to really get any image from but
Yeah, I believe that is actually the surface. Maybe? I do not know. I do not want to unwind that too much in case I... I don't know. Maybe we could get much from that, but... I don't want to ruin any chances of, any, of what I find, you know? But I seriously don't think there's anything on here. The other one, however, might have something. Then we have this one. I was looking at it and there are clear differences. Like you can definitely tell that there was like actual frames. So we might have something here. That might be something there. Looks like damage on that. It looks like more damage. Oh, there might be some detail there. Is that a car? There's so much dirt on this though that it's very difficult to tell. Is something. Oh my god. Oh, what the? It's kind of creepy. So, and I guess anything would look creepy. What's that effect? Okay, so. Oh, it's very uh, tight, that's for sure. All right, looks like I'm actually washing off some of the image here. So we'll flip this around. So as I'm going over this, I'm seeing that a, a very reflective layer is coming out while there's still the same images on the other side. So I believe I'm cleaning the back of the film. Alright, now that the back is nice and clean, well at least a little bit cleaner, there's still some gunk on there, but it's far better. there. I might see a little bit of something there, but it's very difficult to tell. These first images are very, very messed up. Let me know if you guys see anything in these photos. There's one photo that really jumped out to me later on that you can actually see a building, so 
this was well well worth the effort. Now that looks like something square going across there. Now that is interesting. It's hard to tell. We're starting to get into something here. I'm actually going to flip it now. Let's see, that was a square thing. Yeah, that might be something. Something down there. Now that is the image which I accidentally ruined. But oh well. Ooh, that might be something else. Like a doorway and that like a floor. It's very difficult to tell. I believe that was ruined. That doesn't look like a photo anymore. Again, I cannot see very much. That looks like almost like the a car seat. <laughs> At a certain point, this is just a Rorschach test, or whatever the term is. Now this one, this is we're starting to get into some stuff here. Look at that. Now that is some clear image right there. I'm not sure if that's like a picture of a cupboard with a bunch of pots or or what. It looks like it's indoors though. That one looks too dark, but there seems to be something there. hard time seeing anything in that one. But then this one, there is obviously something there. It looks like a bicycle maybe? It's like a bicycle wheel. I'm not quite sure. And obviously something else. Look at that. That's something. And this is a building. Look at that. Look at that building. I can now track down and find what building that is. That's so cool. Oh my god. I didn't really see that before. The rest of these I'm not really seeing much of anything. Oops. But these ones, oh my god, look at those. What are those? Please let me know what you guys think this might be. Oh, and before I forget, I cleaned up that old Bakelite 120 film chemical bath thingy. I can't remember the name for these. So that's cool. I think it came up quite well. I'd like to figure out how old that is too. Fedco. Developing tank. Oh, I guess it's a developing tank. Look at that. I think that's a good place to end it. I got some really ni nice things from that old abandoned photo lab and or more like just a corner of a basement that someone experimented with stuff in but but yeah I mean it even had its own little building built for it just for a dark room since I accidentally destroyed one of the pictures on that like the the emulsion just really came off I'm going to wait and see if I can think of a better way to tackle that without removing I had to remove the dirt, but not remove the emulsion because it's so weak. You know, I wonder if it's in, if it's been in water so long that whatever the pigments are in has actually already broken off of the film. And the only reason those other parts have like stayed their Im their images stayed might be because they've just been stuck there because of the dirt. 
so it's there really is no emulsion anymore there just happens to be different quantities of different pigments in the dirt that is still on them because it all came off the film i don't know but i'd love to hear what you guys think because you guys are a lot smarter and i would also want to know what you guys think what i should do with that varichrome i believe and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya